Here in uh, female reproductive pathology, our focus should be breast pathology. We'll be looking at the entire breast apparatus and uh, remember that it's not just breast cancer that is important for you to know. It's about all the different things that may occur in terms of injury and uh, the changes that might take place even during the menstrual cycle. Let's begin. We'll begin our topic of breast pathology by actually looking at developmental disorders. Here we have supernumerary nipple or breast. What ends up happening here is it results from persistence of epidermal thickening along the milk line. Can extend from the axilla to the perineum. Picture that. This is referred to as being your supernumerary nipple or breast. We have another important developmental disorder. Quickly here we have axillary, axillary breast tissue. As the name very much implies, we have part of the breast which is now extending over the entire anterolateral chest wall and into the axillary fossa. You want to kind of think of this analogous to how the thyroid gland, perhaps ectopically, when it's trying to develop and migrate from the foramen cecum down to where it nestles in the neck, that there might be ectopic remnants as well. Along the same line here, we have ex accessory axilla breast tissue. Congenital inversion of nipples. Clinically significant when it impairs nursing. That's where it becomes really important. For example, a newborn is about to suckle, and uh, well, the nipples are inverted. That's where it becomes clinically significant, especially for the child, as you can imagine. We have a condition called macromastia. Women develop back pain to the point where the breasts are so large that it actually causes straining of the back. So therefore, your recommendation and your first line of management here would be to recommend those bras that have improved or increased support so that the prevention of back pain can be taken place. Remember, you're practicing preventive medicine versus actual, well, if it, ha if it occurs too late, then so be it. But you're paying very close attention to the patient's symptoms, you're examining them, and you have to be astute with what may happen in the future. Maybe due to the body habitus to tissue response to hormonal changes during puberty is the pathogenesis of macromastia. The consequences, however, might be back pain. Supportive bras is a practical recommendation.